Uh, today I would like to uh, share something which which is uh, related to the five precepts in Buddhism. Uh, as we are Buddhists, we normally learn and already aware that um, the five precepts are to abstain or refrain from uh, harming or killing living beings and to refrain from stealing or taking what is not given to refrain from sexual misconduct or uh, committing adultery and number four to refrain from lying or false speech and number fifth is to abstain from uh, taking intoxicated drinks and drugs or intoxication so this is the the five rules of training which we normally call as the five precepts in Bali is a Panjasila uh, in Khmer we call Panjasal Nechasal Sal Pram Nang Ku Sundai Le Sakha Pat Pram five training rules or the five moral precepts as some refer to it as a uh, moral code of conduct and also as a good principle to live a happy and harmonious life. So uh, what I'm gonna share today is the the five precepts and also its accompanying virtues by uh, refraining from those five uh, precepts like killing, stealing, uh, sexual misconduct lying and intoxication so what do we gain by uh, avoiding and abandoning those uh, false activities which cause harms not only to oneself but also to uh, society at large so I have uh, read from uh, the book and also uh, from the uh, quotation of the UN they also uh, describe about the Buddhist five precepts which plays very uh, important role in uh, living a life of uh, harmony and happiness uh, in society. So I'm gonna read this uh, to start again from the first training rules, the first precept, Panatipata to refrain or abstain from uh, killing living beings so as you know if we uh, commit an activity of uh, harming others killing uh, other living beings um, this will cause a lot of uh, insecurity violence and a lot of problems uh, in, in, in living so Instead of uh, killing or causing harm to others, uh, we should instead uh, develop loving kindness and also compassion. You know. So this is the accompanying virtue of the first training rules, Panatipata. We should develop loving kindness. You know, love others as you love yourself. So too, you should love others in that way and also try to uh, be compassionate towards all beings having no uh, harmful thoughts of others always have a uh, positive idea about others and a thought of non-violence we should develop this quality and when we talk about the relationship to human right. So, how important this uh, first precept to human right that is being practiced all over the world? Even at the United States, they often speak about uh, this precept, this quality of uh, uh, abstaining or not to cause harm to one another, not to create violence, not to cause problems, not to kill 
uh, others' life, not just human being, but also the life of animals, birds, you know, everything that has life. So in relation to human rights, uh, there is a uh, rule that says uh, the right to life. Uh, I believe if you are in the raw, a sorry, if you are in the law area, you surely know about uh, the violation of uh, human rights, like this kind of activity causing harms and killing others' life. So this is the right to life. Everybody has a right to live in happiness without being threatened by others, something like that. And the second precept, which is uh, to refrain from uh, stealing or taking what is not given. Instead of doing so, we should uh, develop generosity and renunciation, you know. Instead of stealing, robbing others, or having a thought of, uh, you know, wanting uh, somebody's property, uh, in another word, we we say covetousness. Covetousness. Uh, covetousness. Instead of having covetousness, or uh, committing. Uh, theft, stealing, or robbing others, we better develop uh, generosity, uh, try to give more, you know, try to uh, open your heart and uh, practice the generosity, doing charity, give a way to, to, dana, to help uh, those who are in suffering, those who are in need, you, should, you better give them support, you know. And uh, in relation to human rights is the right of property. So everybody everybody has the, the right of uh, property. They own the property, they have the ownership so that uh, there are uh, uh, rights and laws and articles that uh, uh, protect uh, the property that somebody's, somebody owns it. And number three, um, which is Kame uh, Sumichajara Viramani to refrain from sexual misconduct or committing adultery. Instead, we should uh, develop contentment and respect for faithfulness. Contentment here means uh, being happy with what you have or satisfaction, you know being satisfied with what you have. Uh, just like uh, when we say you have uh, honesty and loyalty uh, with your family, with your wife and husband, with your children, and respect the, the honesty with the families of others as well. So instead of committing sexual misconduct or committing adultery, we better practice uh, contentment, you know, try to be happy with what you have uh, without craving for more and more wanting more and more without you know endlessly so we better practice and develop this uh, quality of uh, contentment of satisfaction with, with whatever we have in hand and in relation to human rights is the right to fidelity in marriage right to Fidelity in marriage, it means the, being honest with uh, your wife, with your husband, uh, with your family, with your children, and also the family of others. And number four, Muksa Vada Veramani, to refrain from uh, false speech or telling lies. Instead of doing so, we better develop uh, Truthfulness, truthfulness or honesty. Like we have to to be honest, you know, and also be dependable and reliable. If you commit telling lies or uh, using a false speech, uh, speak something which is not true, which is not useful, which causes uh, harm to others. 
uh, this is gonna cause uh, uh, somebody to be uh, untrustworthy so you better uh, develop honesty with yourself and with others by saying things which is true which is uh, useful which is beneficial and also uh, with compassion out of goodwill for others so this is a way in which you have to develop uh, in the case of the four precepts and what is related to human right is the right of human dignity human dignity mean um, human value because if you tell lies all the time so who gonna trust you anymore who gonna rely on you because uh, most of the time you just telling lies you don't speak the truth you know you try to speak something which is uh, away from reality so this this will spread the rumors the uh, bad dignity about yourself so later you will become uh, you know untrusted and also uh, not dependable and finally the fifth precept which is Sura Meraya Majapama Dathana Veramani to abstain from intoxication using or intake the alcoholic drinks and using drugs which cause heedlessness and losing mindfulness uh, this is what we need to abandon this is what we need to refrain and abstain and instead of uh, doing so we better develop mindfulness and responsibility mindfulness means sati because sati because when you uh, consume the alcohol or uh, drug like marijuana it will cause uh, your decision making it also I'm sorry it will cause to lose or decrease your decision making and your judgment and also um, it will cause to lose your memory your mindfulness as well by taking alcoholic drinks and using drugs etc Therefore, in the accompanying virtues of this precept, uh, one should uh, develop mindfulness, which we normally know as a mental cultivation or uh, bhavana, which is a technique in which you learn to develop your, your mind to gain more concentration and also to be able to understand the reality which is happening and uh, rising and falling in your mind so that you you can control and see things clearly the way it is and what that relate to the human rights in this fifth precept is the right of security and safety so this is very true since I uh, used to read about the traffic laws in the United States, you know, many restrictions has been uh, uh, set in this case of uh, uh, consuming alcohol and drugs, especially for, for the driver. If they have the content of uh, blood alcohol, uh, for example, from 0 0.08 onwards, uh, they will be arrested by the, the, the traffic police or uh, they can be sent to jail or they can be fined with some amount of money uh, why they you know in in United States they have this that kind of rule which is very strict for the driver not to consume any alcoholic drinks or drug uh, before they drive or when they are driving because it it will cause a lot of danger we don't know that uh, there might be uh, hazard that can happen on the road 
because you cannot control your emotion you cannot control your your mind when you are driving when you are uh, um, on the on the road on the highway you know if your ability to judge thing to make the season slows down it gonna cause a lot of accident by driving it causes insecurity and also uh, losing the safety of uh, the traffic uh, rules and it will lead to uh, injure uh, injury and also death from this uh, uh, heedlessness that is why uh, in no wonders that uh, the Buddha really touched on this uh, uh, very important precept which is the fifth precept to refrain from uh, using or drinking alcoholic drinks and using drugs this is really important because if you lose this precept if you break this precept that gonna cause a lot of uh, disturbances even can kill one's life you know so instead of uh, using all these uh, drinks uh, alcohol or using drugs we better uh, develop mindfulness and responsibility being responsible uh, for what you do is very important yes uh, just like this uh, one good example of driving on the road if you're not responsible for what you do it will cause a lot of troubles to the life of yourself and also the life of many others who are driving on the road you know uh, we see in Cambodia also the uh, uh, accident that happened because of driving has caused a lot of problem and also being very uh, popular about uh, traffic accident so we should avoid by learning the Buddha's teaching especially the fifth precept as we normally uh, learn and already know but I think we should uh, put more into practice to avoid any uh, any harm and also to cause any danger to uh, society so this is what I just want to share and I hope you find this uh, video helpful to improve more the understanding of uh, the five precepts in Buddhism its benefit and also how we can apply uh, this uh, precept in order to gain uh, peace and harmony in our life so thank you very much uh, may you be blessed by the triple gem the buddha the dharma and the sangha